Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Crossover's Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Very excited. It has been a long time coming. Finally, I am going to start setting our tire waters today. Got the tractor, got them, got the rim of them cut out, got the top cut out. We're ready to be set. Pipe is in the ground and ready to go. Very excited to do this. I'm going to start pouring and mixing concrete in the base and get it uh, solidified. And in the next couple of days after this concrete settles, we're gonna have some automatic waters, hopefully, and everything goes good. So today, we're gonna concrete our tire tanks in and get those set. Man, we should be good. I'm super excited. What do you think, buddy? Huh? You guys gonna have some automatic water systems? Oh, what have you been hitting on? I see some orange on that. Oh, yeah, we've been whipping that gate down there, I see. Okay. our tire it's going to be placed in our corral area you kind of see the bison coming up in the lane that we built i'm going to put it right over here you can see that pvc coming up it's a drain pipe so this is our main holding area what i call our maybe our home base got this tire just clean it out we're going to haul it in here and uh, get her set make sure everything's good in here Got our first tire set, finally. Took a little bit of adjustment, I'm by myself, so it's okay, and not a problem. But, I'll give you a quick tip. Make sure your ground is level. I, I got it set, and then I had to pull it all the way back out, move it over, and then scrape off this dirt here, just from my, just pulling my dirt, just a little dirt mound here, something simple like that. You may wanna consider is to get this thing level. I didn't have the ground level because I had this pile of dirt here, but I got it scraped off and I got it pretty, pretty level right now. Another thing is I didn't have this. I just had it sitting in here. I didn't have it completely glued in. This is my drain pipe. I left everything short because I didn't know what it was like putting this tire in here because I wanted to get this set in here first before I actually started plumbing this up. So now that we've got this i'm going to obviously come up higher off my 90 we'll get it going from there <laughs> eleanor what the heck is that huh 
What is that? Yeah. You guys are going to like it. <laughs> There's no water in there yet, buddy. <laughs> You're just pretending. It's like, yeah, let's see how far I can get down there. No water yet, guys. Very soon. I got everything plumbed. I've been letting it dry. So I finished off my drain pipe here, a two inch, and then I've got my one inch lead right here. So I made it extra long so we can get this concrete in here. That's my next thing I'm about to start. And so I gotta fill all this in with concrete. I got lots of bags of concrete. I'm gonna mix it up and then pour it in here one at a time, one bucket at a time, and then let it dry. And then once it dries, we'll come back and we'll finish our fittings to wherever the level is. Ready to go. Seven and a half bags of concrete, quick creek, whatever you want to call it, mix. I just was cleaning it up, leveling it out, make sure I was really getting around my seals really good. Got these taped up together just because I didn't want to move it around whenever I was pouring concrete in. Um, I think I'm off just a little bit. Um, the water's flowing down this way. It's got to flow somewhere, but um, I had to go back and fill in this area. It's really important that you get it level, especially before you set the tire down. Obviously, just little things like that that you don't think about, like a little dirt mound or something that you were using to dig out your trench. But I got this tire set in this area. So right now we've got calves um, and Eleanor out here. This will be our future just calf a uh, lot as they're going through the weaning process they're going to be able to get some good grass and feed them as well right here in our main area but what we're going to do is we're going to open this side up have this side open this is my home base here main corral and what we're going to do is put a bar across here because we're going to start got to protect this stuff um, we're going to put and then we're going to put something like this over the top of it and it's basically going to be a divider here and we're going to keep the bison separated so that this serves basically two different lots it serves the corral and then it also is going to serve this um, lot right here by dividing it in half all right so the next thing is i'm going to start taking the other tires and get them set i'm out of concrete bags i wasn't sure how many it was going to actually take this is a pretty good sized tire, obviously, but I've got to get more bags of concrete. I'm gonna start hauling all the rest of the tires in um, and doing the fittings. Got two more to go.
screenings left over from the round of the farm. We're going to use the concrete for our base. It'll be a lot of bags of concrete. Alright, so Got it. now you need to, we need to glue that. Let me get it. 